morning, everybody, and welcome to our webinar this morning on SMS templates. This session should take uh, approximately 15 minutes. Uh, if you could remain muted, please, during the session. Um, it is being recorded as usual, so will be available on our training pages once it's been uploaded and also available on the uh, Surgery Connect training YouTube channel. Any questions that you ask through the chat, um, I will answer at the end of the session. Um, but today we're going to be looking at SMS templates on Surgery Connect. So during the session, we're going to have a brief look at where you can access those SMS templates. We're going to have a look at creating a template on Surgery Connect. We'll look at where you can send those texts from. And also the SMS reports that you can see in the reports console so that you can see what uh, messages have been sent out by the practice and who to there. So to access the SMS templates on Surgery Connect, you'll need to navigate to the configuration console and you can create templates for messages that were sent frequently from the practice and patient details can also be added to the templates using preset options. So to navigate to the configuration console, you can either go through the single sign on window when you first log in and use the configuration console application from there. Or if you're already logged into a console, click on the menu, which is the three lines next to your initials up at the top, and then you can navigate to the configuration console from whichever console you're already in. Once in the configuration console, your menus will be down the left hand side of the screen and you'll need to access the section marked as integrations. Now, normally you would be going into the association section here to find the pin number for your um, application uh, for the integration software. However, there is also an application window here for the SMS templates. And if you click on the view button, it will then show you the templates that you've already got set up within the practice. So here we can see that we've got some uh, templates set up already within our SMS template section. Uh, these templates can be edited, so if you need to change any of the details within the message that gets sent out, then you can use the edit button down at the bottom of the individual message to change those details. Um, there's also a delete button, so if you need to remove that template from the system, then you can remove it permanently using the delete button there. To set up a new template, there's a button just at the top of the uh, table there that says a new SMS template. And when you click on that, it will then bring up uh, the options to create a template on Surgery Connect. So once you're in the uh, create SMS templates, you can give that template a name. So make it as descriptive as you can so that obviously everybody can see what that template is going to be for. You'll also see some buttons with fields on and these are the fields that can be added into the message um, and it will then automatically populate from the clinical record with those particular details. You can also add links to NHS conditions. So if you want to set up a particular text for things like uh, chest conditions, you can add the link to the NHS website so that they can research that condition directly through the website from the SMS. You'll need to type in the body of the text in the message body box. And as you type it in, you can then use the um, buttons at the top to add the fields in as you need to go through. You can add multiple NHS conditions. Um, so when you're at the point in the text where you want to add in the link, you can search for the condition just by typing it in the box here. And then when you found the one that you want, just click on add condition and it will then add that link to the text. You can then go back and search for another condition if you need to and add further conditions. So you can put on multiple links within the same text message. As you type in the text in the message body to, uh, box, you'll also see a preview box, which is in gray. Um, so anything that you uh, type into the message body at the top, including those fields, will then display as the text will be sent out uh, to the patient. It will also complete the fields so you can see how it's going to look as a text that's actually sent out there. We can see the link here for the chest infections and that will then give the link to the conditions on the NHS website so the patient can get more information there directly from that link. 
Once you've completed the template and you can see that it's uh, correct here at the bottom, then if you click on the save button, that will then save it to the list of templates available. And that can then be sent from multiple places on Surgery Connect, depending on how you're using the system. So to send out text, you can send it via the patient overview if you're using the integration software with either System 1 or EMIS. So when you open up the patient overview by clicking on the orange circle in your taskbar down at the bottom, um, it would normally go straight to the contact tab. Uh, so you've got their numbers there and then obviously the call buttons if you want to call the patient, but you also have the option next to any mobile number to send that text. And once you click on the text, it will then ask you if you want to use a template and you can select the templates from the drop down here. Uh, you can also add in extra conditions to the text that you're actually going to send out. So if you use a template, it will then pre-fill the text box down at the bottom. Um, if need be, you can add in extra text there. And then when you click on send, it will send that text to the mobile number on that clinical record. You can also send text directly from the user console if that's the screen that you're accessing. So just up at the top near your initials in between the menu and the dial number icon, you will have a send SMS and you can send text directly through that screen and you can even type in the number of the uh, person that you want to send the text in. So you can send ad hoc text that way as well. Now, if you're using our new phone bar, um, the messages can be sent directly from either the active patient options if you have a patient currently open or if you're using your appointment list you can also send sms messages directly from the appointments list on the phone bar as well you'll then have access to the same templates as you would do if you were using the integration software um, downloaded separately there Once you've sent a text, um, there is also an SMS log on the patient overview. So you would be able to see a list of uh, messages that have been sent out to that particular patient via the SMS log on the patient overview. If you're using the phone bar, then the text will appear in the contact history for the patient via the active patient options. Um, and you can then read that text directly through the contact history. Obviously, those can also be filed directly into the patient record. And once a text has been filed into the clinical record, it's then accessible by anybody that can access that patient's details through your clinical software there. Now, there are also reports available for the um, SMS messages that have been sent out and so if you navigate to the reports console again either via the single sign on page and using the reports application on that login page or via the menu if you're already in a console just by clicking on the three lines next to your initials and then selecting reports from the options in the menu. Once in the SMS, uh, sorry, once in the reports console um, on the left hand side, you'll see a section marked as SMS reports. And if it's not expanded like these others, just click on the little arrow next to the reports and it will then give you the reports that are available. So there are two reports for um, SMSs on Surgery Connect. We either have an SMS overview and that will give you a summary of the text that have been sent out or the SMS report, which will show the individual texts so you can actually see the content of that text and it will also show you whether it was delivered um, at the point that it was sent out there. So this is the SMS overview report, so it will show you uh, where this uh, text has been sent through and whether it was an automated text um, or a text to do with your voicemail that you have on the system. Um, or missed call text through patient callback. You'll then be able to see the number of um, messages that have been sent out. Um, and obviously each message has a maximum character count, which is 160. So if you go over that, it will be classed as sending out two SMSs because they're classed as segments. So the, the message numbers here that you can see might not be the actual number of messages, but it will be the number of segments that you've sent out. So those 160 characters uh, giving you then the segments. In the SMS report, uh, you can actually see who sent out that uh, message and also 
the message itself. So these are the ones that we've sent out to begin the video calls using the um, video call capability on the soft phone on Surgery Connect. And we can see whether those messages then have been sent out. So you would get a complete list of all the messages that have been sent out from the practice there. Uh, so at the moment, um, SMSs will be included in your call package. However, from the 1st of September, there will be some changes to the charges for SMSs. Um, standard SMSs from the system that are automatically generated in the most part will be um, included in your package. Uh, messages that you send out to patients um, will then be chargeable. However, they're chargeable. Um, at our cost rate, so there's no extra charges there to send out text. It's just the cost of the text itself. So have a look at um, our updates that will give you the information on the charging there for the texts. So during this session, uh, we've had a look at access, accessing the SMS templates in the configuration console. We've looked at creating a template using the um, shortcuts through uh, the system there to create the templates and adding in the extra fields. We've looked at sending out a, an SMS from the system, either via the integration software, the user console or via the phone bar. And we've also looked at a couple of SMS reports that you have um, so that you can see how many texts have actually been sent out through the practice.